so right well, come on in come in come on sure, in uh, sure. we've we got a meeting we've got to do our meeting so excellent um sales for our high high caffeine energy drinks have been drip drop, dropping recently and um sure. here's here's my problem i think the names aren't uh intention catching enough we've got to no. we've got to really uh capture the extreme market so I put this meeting together today because we need to start putting together and brainstorming new intense flavors. Sure. Have you got any suggestions? Well, I was thinking maybe something like uh, nitro adrenaline. Ooh, I like where you're thinking. I'm I'm, I'm going to suggest heart attack aluminium. Sure. Okay. We're we're going for like really really serious. So yeah, like yeah. um uh, um I uh, uh, fork in a socket blueberry. Steak Inferno. Oh, I like that. I like yeah. that. It's really yeah. going to appeal to the, to you know, the, the more masculine. The, the eighteen to twenty-five male demographic. Absolutely. We're really going to enjoy the idea of a very spicy steak energy drink. Yeah, yeah. How about like uh, Scotch Bonnet Stroke? Oh, I like it. Um, how about? Oh, oh, I think I've got the best one, the most intense one there is. Just stubbed your toe. Damn, that's pretty hard. It's pretty hardcore flavor. Mm, I like it. I like maybe it. maybe make it something sour that'll like physically hurt their mouths. Uh, what about uh, liquid palpitation? Oh, 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 I like it. How about explosive decompression? You're a fucking genius. Fantastic. Let's start getting these to market right the heck now. All right, Mr. Snugglebum. Oh, are you doing all right, Cuddlebutt? Yeah, yeah, pretty good, pretty good. Uh, you know, been, uh, been, uh, you know, uh, taking out some of the old, uh, some of the old wardrobe monsters, you know. Oh, goodness, you've been Got... on uh, under the bed, under the bed monster duty again. Yeah, under the bed, in the wardrobe, you know, with uh, the the creature that lives in the mirror when he comes out at night. Still oh. got to protect my kids. Got to protect them. Oh, exactly. You know, it's it's a never-ending job, this one, isn't it? You just kind of just kind of go every night, every night. Got to be on the lookout because those creatures could be everywhere. They could be they could be a shadow sort of near that uh that rack over there. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, they could be uh they could be uh, they could sound like a car going past. They're sneaky, these creatures. The, the, the ghost that lives in the toy box after dark. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah, and some of them got so many arms and claws, you know. Oh, of course, no. firstly, I find the worst bit is that you have to like. You, you've got to clean it all up, all of the monster bits. Once you've defeated them, you've got to clean them all up because, you know, they're, they're, a, a monster blood is an absolute pig to get out of carpet. Exactly. And you've also got the problem of having to get in and out of bed to, you know, cuddle the kid, make sure they're all right, yeah. without them waking up, you see, because that's always a bit of a problem is like not waking them up because otherwise exactly. you don't want them, you know, you don't want them having a stress about this as they're trying to sleep. Well, exactly. And it, it probably scared them, you know, to see you just bashing the crap out of uh, this monster with a with a, um, a mace that you happen to have secretly stuck behind a, a, a mirror yeah. in the house. You know, my arsenal, you know, you've got you've got to pull the coat rack and then, and then press the, the book in on the shelf. You know, if that all rolls back, you don't want to keep finding out, obviously, you know. So I have to make sure that sneak in and out of bed quite quickly, bop the monsters, clean up the mess, shove them out the window. Oh, oh, I've got to get going, I've got to get yep. going. I'm oh. pretty pretty sure that that monster under the rug is uh, snoking about. I'll show you in a bit. Yeah, good luck, good luck. <laughs> Good evening, and welcome to the news at 9.19pm. I'm your host, Newsy McNewserson, and I'm here with my colleague, also doing the news. Hello. Uh, today's top story. The entirety of the UK is being relocated out of their offices. Why do you have the information for us? Absolutely. What seems to be happening at the moment is that the UK is suffering from ridiculous amounts of heat and humidity. It's, it's absolutely ludicrous. Far too much. People can't cope with it. However, what is has been noted is that coffee shops tend to have air conditioning. And it tends to be ruddy good air conditioning. Absolutely. Also, coffee is generally better than you will find in, in most offices. Indeed. Also, some of them have chilled drinks in drinks containers, which also benefits on the heat. And because so many of the offices in the UK are just not built for heat, they are not built with the comfort of those inside the building in mind, we, are, uh, we have, we have learned that everyone is being relocated to coffee shops because they actually have air conditioning, unlike a lot of places of employment that do not care about the comfort of their workers. More news for you tomorrow. Thank you very much. Goodbye. <laughs> So much has changed this year, isn't it? Oh, I know. The world's really gone downhill this all with, because of because of all them all them 
British people really turned our world, you know, on the downturn, didn't they? Yeah, I knew, I mean, I knew capitalism would be our end, but I didn't think it would end quite like that. Oh, I know, all of this hoarded wealth, I knew it was going to be a problem, all of this wealth accumulated in a few locations rather than spread out yeah. evenly across the world. I mean, I just assumed it was going to be like some kind of people's uprising, I never expected... Never expected that, no. No, exactly. The, the, I never thought that the downfall of our world would very directly be an interest in those uh, accumulated piles of wealth they had. No, but of course that's the problem with interdimensional dragons. Exactly. They're just drawn to the wealth. Exactly. As soon as they realise, oh no, all of this wealth is held by like 15 people, they just went and s sat on it. Yeah. Yeah, now we've got dragons here. And that's, we've got a lot that's of dragons. Problem. Damn the, you, capitalism. Exactly. The weird thing about the dragons, though, is the fact that rather than sitting on the wealth, they have rather become sort of bankers. Yeah, they. I think it might just be that they saw that's how you collect all the wealth, is you just become a bit of a shitty person banker. Still, it was quite fun when they uh, incinerated Jeff Bezos. Oh, goodness, I certainly wasn't complaining that day. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Let's get back to living under interdimensional dragon rule, I suppose. Yeah. Damn capitalism. <laughs> Um, hello, hello, welcome to my bakery. Um, um, how can I help you today? Well, howdy there. I was wondering if I could get myself a wedding cake for my upcoming wedding. Oh, yeah. Can you tell me a little bit about your wedding? Well, sure. You know, we're thinking maybe like uh, a, lot, a lot of purple and white. So, you know, if we could get some of that on the cake. Mm -hmm. uh, where uh, all the place settings are going to be, uh, there going to be quite a lot of, of, of delicate lace on, on the tablecloth. So I think maybe if we could sort of get some, some nice little lacing effects on, on the icing, maybe I think that'd be... That'd be something too. Oh, and and uh, what sort of cake toppers do you want? Oh well, just something uh, representing uh, myself and, and my husband. Wait, wait, are you a straight couple? Oh yeah, yeah, we're a straight couple. Oh, I'm 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 really sorry. I, I um, I I think you'd be better going to a different bakery. But 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 what? But why? Well, you see, making wedding cakes for straight couples is. Against my moral beliefs. Um, so, if you look at the facts, um, most straight couples that get married will have a kid and will statistically likely get divorced, and I don't think it's morally right to, 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 to do that. You're, you're having a divorce that's, you know, leaving a kid with, with you know, that, that's pain for a kid. I think that it's morally wrong, and as this is statistically most straight weddings, I um, morally object to doing a cake for your straight wedding. Well, I think that's perfectly reasonable. I will find somewhere else. Can you recommend someone in the area? Oh, yes. I know a lovely straight baker just like four doors down the road. Oh, thanks very much. Have a lovely day. Hello, um, hello, Mr. Uh, Mr. Musk. It's uh, nice to nice to meet you. Uh, thank, thank you for this meeting. Please call me Elon! <laughs> um, so, yes, you uh, called this uh, business meeting. What did you um, have, in, have in mind for our uh, company? Well, as you may have read on Twitter recently, I'm a massive fan of the game Bioshock! I've decided I want to start an objectivist utopia on Mars! That's what my SpaceX program is all about! Okay, where did you get this idea? Well, it was a little bit of Bioshock, and I recently started reading Atlas Shrugged! Uh, of course you are. That um, Ayn Rand, she's a hottie! So, th this is your plan for making things better for the world with your enormous wealth, is it? Is you're going to build a... a objectivist utopia? Absolutely! I will take the best and brightest! They will come and live in Castle Gulch on Mars that I have built. Are you sure it wouldn't be better to maybe use that money for something on Earth, make Earth a bit better? Cause... No, I don't want the pubs having it. I worked very hard for it. It is mine, therefore. What are you, some kind of communist? <laughs> As someone who runs a company that actually like pays their 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 um, employees enough of a wage that they don't have to pee in water bottles during their shift, yeah, I'm not super on board with with with, with this uh, plan. But have fun with your Mars colony. Thank I, you. I will. Considering that uh, 
Mars has not yet been terraformed and it's all going to be very experimental. It's probably the best place for you. It's only a matter of time. Anyway, if you're not going to do anything useful for me, would you kindly get me a Coke? Would, would, would you kindly get me a Coke? Oh, you can get your own Coke. But, but I said the thing. How about this? I'll Continue get... the training! I'll get you a Coke when you pay your employees enough they don't have to pee in bottles. Would, would you kind, kindly... That's it, I'm pressing the button on the underside of my desk. 